Okay, everybody, welcome to Ink Tutors. Today we'll be discussing um, the physics pass question um, for paper one, two thousand and seventeen. Now, um, this is Ink Tutors. Now, if um, you think what we are doing makes sense, please try and hit the subscribe button so that you can get more videos from us. Um, from time to time, we'll be releasing updates, so we uh, we want you to stay updated with us by clicking the subscription button. So the um, paper one question four says a metallic ball of mass 0.1 kg falls with a constant velocity of 0.02 meter per second through a thick liquid. The resultant force on the ball while in motion it. Now, you know in physics, why solving physics? You say, um, the, the question says we should look for force. So force is equal to mass times acceleration. But the question says there is a constant velocity, and you know that acceleration is change in velocity. So it means in constant velocity, constant velocity, there is no change in acceleration. There is no change in acceleration. So that means automatically our acceleration is going to be zero. That means v is equal to u therefore acceleration will be v minus u over t which is what zero so that means our force is equal to zero so the correct answer here is um a so that's for that question so the next question that's the next question says what is the maximum height reached by a ball projected upwards with velocity of 10 meter per second now you know this is a projectile question it's more or less like um, 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 a question where you need to apply the law of um, motion now just the same formula you use for your equation for motion you use v squared is equal to u squared now whether you're going to use positive or negative remember whenever you're projecting something upwards it's going to be a negative because it's going against gravity so this is a question of motion that requires height and velocity now it, it says what is the maximum height reached you know that when you are sending an object up whenever an object is going up when an object is going up the velocity the final velocity is zero so this is something you have to know that is v is zero this is an equation you have to know for you to be able to solve this question so this means zero is equal to u squared minus 2gh now this means u squared is equal to 2gh therefore our h is going to be u squared over 2 times gravity which means our u is given as 10 squared our u is given as 10 so 10 squared then 2 times our acceleration due to gravity is 10 this is equal to 10 times 10 divided by 2 times 10 so 10 is going to cancel out 2 here is 1 2 here it's 5 so our height is 5 meters so the correct answer here is C okay so the next question the next question says a car starts from rest a car starting from rest travels 36 meters in 6 seconds find the car's acceleration and this velocity at this time okay now um to get the acceleration first of all you need to get the velocity so um and you know that velocity is um change in distance over time so which is going to be equal to um, the distance is 36 36 over 6 which will give us 6 meter per second so this is our velocity now to get our acceleration acceleration is equal to change in velocity over time now um, okay since the car is starting from rest so it's going to be um, whenever something is starting from rest our so uh, whenever something is starting from rest, our final velocity is always zero. Our our initial velocity, rather, is always zero. So because it's starting from rest, from rest, u is zero. So this is going to be um, six 
minus 0 divided by 6. So our acceleration is going to give us 1 meter per second square. So the correct option here is going to be C. This is 1 meter per second square and this is 6. Okay, so the next question says, um, the diagram below shows a loaded wheelbarrow. The mass of wheelbarrow and the load is 75 kg. A resultant force is exerted on the wheelbarrow and produces a horizontal acceleration of 2.4 meter per second square. What is the force? So just apply your formula for calculating your force, which is mass times acceleration. So this is going to give us 75 times 2.4. So when you bring in your calculator to punch that, so that's 7. 5 times 2.4 we're going to get 180 newton so the final answer here is 180 newton so the correct answer is um, C so thank you very much for staying with us um, in this video now um, if you think um, you have questions you want to ask us you can hit the comment section and also hit the like button and please don't forget to share these videos if it's very interesting to you so that you can help your loved ones and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get updates from us thank you very much and stay tuned